And today's topic is just more so about is it worth getting into hot shotting? I'm showing you what I'm doing, why we're doing it. And I want to keep it real with you guys. Hot shotting is it's a difficult business. One, because you're like the underdog. Semi trucks don't like us. DOT doesn't like us. There's so many reasons why it's tough. Brokers don't like us. Brokers want to undercut us. Uh, what else you got? Like, this is so much. I can just give you so much, man. And it's just, it's, 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 it's tough. It's, it's really tough. And you have to be really, really strong to really deal with the bullshit that goes on in this trucking world especially for hot shots it's not easy for us man it's just really not easy so the topic of the videos is exactly what this video is going to be about um should you get into hot shot trucking 2021 a lot of people say yes a lot of people say no i can't really tell you man i can't really give you um uh, i'm trying to find this office hold on Yeah, like, turn this heat down. It's just a matter of you, man. Um, I'm saying if you're gonna get into this business, like for instance, if you wanna scale up, like, you know, people wanna get multiple trucks and stuff. I don't think you should be getting into hot shot trucking if you're trying to do, actually create a company, like a real company trying to have multiple trucks. I think everybody should get their learning experience starting a company to me i feel like you should get your learning experience what i mean by that is maybe go drive for somebody else maybe go drive for a company maybe go drive join somebody else's hot shot trucking company drive for them um and when the reason why i'm saying that is get an understanding of what you're about to get yourself into it's so much more than just buying a truck, buying a trailer, getting your authority, getting all your stuff correct, all your paperwork, and then driving. It's so much more. And even that, a lot of people don't even do half of that. Some people some people come out here on this road half-assed. That's why DOT target us so hard. So you have to be sure that this is what you want to do because one thing that you have to deal with your very first year, your very first year, everybody knows is you go to Progressive. Ain't nobody else, excuse me, let me correct grammar. Nobody else is going to take you except for Progressive. And then because Progressive knows this, they're going to charge you a lot. It may be anywhere between, let's say, $3,000 to $6,000 down. And then you may pay anywhere between $1,200 to, I know some people paying $2,000 a month. And that's just for one truck. Depends on your credit. It depends on... Um, I think it really just depends on your credit. Like I said, I didn't do this. My dad did this. He taught me all this stuff. So that's one. That's the first part. And then with be, that being said, your first year, people, customers, brokers are not really going to want to deal with you your first year because you're so fresh. They can't. You have you have no proof of that. You are. You have no proof that you are actually a reliable company or reliable. You know, you have reliable transport, reliable equipment, and stuff like that. So that's off your first year so once you get past that learning curve that first year man everything is smooth selling from there it's up to you but i say give it a shot if you just want to if you want to be that guy who and, and, and there's different forms so let me go into this so that's to that that's the first form of somebody who's just you know like I'm just giving you the breakdown of what what's to come once you get into it, right? Just your expenses for certain stuff, and that's just your insurance. That's not going off of if you're gonna buy a brand new truck, are you gonna buy an old truck? You know, so it's a lot of things that go into that that whole part. We could do a whole another video on that itself, but the types of people who are going to get into this to this business is the person who wants to buy one truck, one trailer, and he wants to do local stuff. And he just wants to make a quick buck, a decent buck where he doesn't have to work for nobody else. He could work for himself. Then I suggest, yes, you can get into it. You know, you can get into it. You can buy yourself an old truck, buy yourself an old trailer. It's paid off, pay, you know, cash, buy it cash. If your pockets are right, buy it cash and you can work locally, you know, wherever you stay at within the, within the 200 something mile radius and you can do work there and make a decent living. Um, 
or you can be like us who you know you want to upscale into your business you want to get multiple trucks so you can have multiple streams of revenue and get different you know just you want to build a real deal company um i don't think nobody should be doing that 2021 with hot shot i feel like if you're going to spend that much money on a truck especially buying a brand new you might as well buy yourself a semi truck these trucks brand new are sixty thousand dollars a, a, a used semi truck if you get a used semi truck let's say upwards of 400 something thousand miles and up you're gonna spend about forty to sixty thousand dollars just as much you're gonna spend on this so i don't really have an answer and i don't tell people what they should and should not do it's it's up to you i suggest not getting into a hot shot trucking business this year but that's just my opinion now you could do whatever you want to do that's you you know um don't let me tell you what to do don't let me discourage you of what you should and should not do if you feel like this is a comfortable business this is, you're comfortable enough to get into this business and be successful by all means do it you see what i'm saying but i want you guys to have a plan i want people to have a plan because my dad hopped into this business and he had to learn a lot of different things it's now three four years now he's been in i've been in it for two years now and you know we're doing a lot better than what we're doing from the from the jump but we had to learn that so the guys who are watching me the guys who want to do this have a plan don't just buy a truck and then buy a trailer and say i'm going to come out here and do this have a plan all right you gotta have a plan but um other than that man that's that's really it you know that's really it should you do it for 2021 it's solely up to you are your is, is your money in order do you have a plan do you have a truck and trailer what is your end game how far are you going to go are you going to just be just you are you going to expand into other trucks are you going to go into the semi world or are you just going to jump into the semi world you know what i mean it's, it's up to you it's really really up to you People still ain't came and load me. They ain't came and load me up yet. It's crazy. I've been doing my thing. I can't stay the same. All I know is go. Money, mo, no, slow. Build for flow. Fly like crow. I'm human, but I feel superhuman.